welcome to my YouTube channel, 90% Native. I'm Michelle and I garden in Northern Virginia. Today I am going to introduce you and my garden to a new native ground cover. It's called fog fruit or frog fruit and then the scientific name is Phyla lanceolata. This is a full sun to part sun plant. It likes to live in wet or medium wet soils. It comes from the verbena family and it will form mats via rhizomes and is supposed to be a pretty aggressive native plant. From what I read, the flowers of the fog fruit are loved by many pollinators and those flowers can range in color anywhere from white to lavender. I grew the fog fruit that I am planting today from seed that I purchased from Prairie Moon Nursery. It desperately needs to be planted out and I just couldn't figure out the correct place to put it. I have a bed in the front of my yard, in the front side of my yard, that I created last year using the cardboard and mulch method. And I will link above to the video that shows how I create those garden beds. And as of now, I haven't put anything in that bed. Currently, there is a lavender bush and a forsythia and the, neither of those plants are native to the Northern Virginia area, so I think I'm gonna take those out. I won't be taking them out today. I'm gonna to go ahead and get the fog fruit in the ground and take care of the two bushes at another time. I'll go ahead and take you over to that garden bed and show you what it looks like now. I'll also take you over to the flat of fog fruit that's been sitting around for six months now waiting to get out into the soil, and then I'll show you what it looks like after I do all the planting up. Here's the fog fruit that's going out into the landscape. And you'll see the forsythia tree and the lavender bush that's gonna come out eventually sometime this fall. And I'm just gonna pop in the fog fruit as a ground cover so that it just spreads through that whole area, covers the soil, and I'm feeding the pollinators with the flowers. No, no real reason to show off the mulch like we sometimes like to do. Okay guys, when this is done, I will show you the after. Here's the after of my project. You can't even tell I've done anything. <laughs> However, that's how, that's how it goes with most of my projects. I will definitely pin up updates, to this bed so that you can see how the fog fruit does over the course of time. I think I'm also going to cut back that forsythia and the lavender all the way. But if I take you down close, you can see I've taken the whole fat flat and spread out the fog fruit. The other thing I did do is I added five Hypericum prolificums or shrubby St. John's wort. These were also grown from seed and I have a few different hedgerows of Hypericum prolificum in the landscape and I'll take you to them right now. So here is one row of shrubby St. John's wort in front of the cutting garden. And the great thing about this plant is that in the late winter, I can cut those bushes back by 50% so that I can always have that nice, clean, more formal look when I use these bushes in a row. I'll take you around to the side of my deck so I can show you the other row. And these are actually older. These were the first ones I planted from seed and I winter sowed them. They're a really nice bush to have because they stand up so nice. They have beautiful flowers on them and you can give them a pretty harsh pruning to keep things looking formal. Well, it looks like I didn't turn my microphone around, so I'm just gonna talk over myself here. 
If you have any experience with fog fruit, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, that's it for now. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again next time.